The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Welcome to the A-Team Challenge. We are back again for another great game this year, 2016. We're in a single elimination uh, competition with a lot of schools here in Southwest Florida, and you're gonna see some very fine academic uh, challenging here today. I'm Robert Van Winkle, your host. We're in our 27th year in actuality with the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, the Lee County School District, and of course, NBC2. So we're happy that you're joining us today. Exciting this year, you can watch our games on YouTube. The games are going to be posted on YouTube at the special Lee County Schools site. So you can find them one of two ways. Go to youtube.com forward slash Lee Schools TV. And if you don't find it there right away, you can just do a generic Lee County Public Schools search on YouTube and you'll find our games. Of course, if you have cable uh, television, you can watch us on Comcast on Channel 99. Students, again, 36 high schools, six Southwest Florida counties, single elimination. Some students' uh, teams have already been eliminated. One of these two fine teams will be moving on. Questions today will be in the subjects of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and we even have some general knowledge questions in there as well. Here's a quick look at the rules. Three rounds come first, 5, 10, and 20 points. Students, couple quick reminders, work alone individually in the first three rounds. If you get a question incorrect, it doesn't count uh, against you, but the other team has a chance to perhaps steal the point and hear the entire question before they do so. It's a good, a good strategy to always wait to hear the rest of the question. And of course, in our final exam round, students will be working with uh, alternates, and as a group, they'll come up with, uh, we'll come up with the winner here today. I have two fine schools with me this afternoon. We've got Estero High School on my right, and on my left, Golden Gate High School is right there. So dressed in black and white and Golden Gate, and the nice navy blue from Estero, we are ready to go. Teams, pick up your buzzers. Let's start the A-Team Challenge. First question is for five points. Here we go. What southern U.S. state is home to Okmulgee National Monument and the city of Savannah? Georgia. Kevin, Georgia. wait till I call your name. Oh, sorry. Say Georgia. it again. Georgia. <laughs> I'll make you say it three times. Very good. Georgia's right. Estero starts us off five points. All right, students, again, wait till I call your name. Here we go. The classic short story, The Ransom of Red Chief, was written by what American author, noted for his surprise endings? Okay, no one got that one. Uh, o. Henry was the author that I was looking for, W.S. Porter. All right, next question for five. The land in Colorado's Rocky Mountain National Park was included in what 1803 land deal between the United States and France? Mitchell, Golden Gate. The Louisiana Purchase. That's correct, Mitchell. Good job. Five points gets you on. We're tied up. Next for five. Musicians Isaac Stern, Pincus Zuckerman, Fritz Chrysler, Itzhak Perlman, and Joshua Bell all became famous for playing what stringed instrument? Kevin Estero. The violin. That's correct. Good job. Five points, Estero. Next for five. Give the legal term as defined on the official U.S. Court's website as money that a defendant pays a plaintiff in a civil case if the plaintiff has won. Yeah, for you're in in time. A fee. Say again. Fee. Fee. No, good try. Good try though. Doesn't hurt to try. Estero. Uh, Kevin. Dues. Nope. Damages. Damages. Something you definitely don't want to hear. All right. Next question for five. It fought three cod wars with England. Name this nation that saw a 1986 summit between Reagan and Gorbachev, as well as a 1972 chess match between Boris Spassky and Bobby Fischer. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Eric Estero. Iceland. Iceland. Good job. Five points, Estero. Give the generic term for any land area near a body of water that could fill with water if it rains enough. Kevin Didn't, Estero. Oh, a basin. Nope, sorry. A basin is incorrect. Um, David. Floodplain. 
Good job, David. Exactly right. Floodplain, five points, Golden Gate. You have a math question on the screen. First one, you can start working. A trapezoid with area of 100 has bases of length 6 and x and height of 10. Give the value of x. Mitchell's in, Golden Gate. Four. No, sorry, Mitchell, not four. Estero, a couple more seconds. All right, uh, the answer was 14. And I heard you say something. Did you, ha did, did you know what you did? All right, that's okay. Still can't give you the point, though. Good try. Next question for five. What Japanese car maker's symbol shows three diamonds in the shape of a shamrock? David, Golden Mitsubishi. Gate. Mitsubishi. David? Mitsubishi. Again? Mitsubishi is right. That's correct. Five points for Golden Gate. Mitsubishi. Next for five. Give the most common English meaning of the French verb manger, which is something many people do. Jeffrey, Golden Gate. To eat. They do it about three times a day. Some of us do it a little more than that. Five points, Golden Gate. His first studio album, In the Lonely Hour, won a Grammy for Best Pop Vocal. And David, Golden Gate. Sam Smith. Yeah, you must know your music. Sam Smith, name the British new artist. Sam Smith, five points, to Golden Gate. Next for five. In plants, the Calvin cycle takes place within what cell organelle? Mitchell, Golden Gate. The chloroplast. Yep, that's found in plants, but not in humans. Chloroplast is correct with five points more for Golden Gate. His two-volume history of his native Scotland was not as popular as his epic poem, Marmion, that gave us the lines, Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Name this 19th century author whose Waverly novel includes Rob Roy, Kenilworth, and Ivanhoe. All right, no guesses there. It's Sir Walter Scott. Sir Walter Scott. Next question for five. Italian composer Claudio Monteverdi wrote his opera Lo Orfeo, the earliest opera still performed today, in what century? Jeffrey, give it a shot. 15th. Nope, good try though. Estero. The 16th. I'm sorry, Cal? No. The 16th. Nope, not the 16th either. It was the 17th. He wrote it in 1607. <laughs> if we had three teams, maybe the third one would have got that one. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so we are off and running on our first uh, round here, and uh, you saw the score there, 30 to 15. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the Estero High School students before we take our first break. Uh, this is Kevin Garcia in position number one. Kevin Garcia is a senior this year, so this will be his last year at the 18 Challenge. Uh, he wants to go to the University of Central Florida and uh, do a double major in music, theater, and business. Kevin, uh, good luck to you in the future. Cal Tollett is next. Cal is a senior this year as well. He would like to head off to Florida State University and study a career in international politics and business. In the back row, we have two uh, players here. This is Eric. Eric Stefanko is a senior. He wants to go to the University of Florida and be a public speaker, study public speaking. And in the final spot is Claire. Claire Herman is a senior as well and wants to go to the University of Central Florida and she'd like to travel the world and be a journalist. So we have a team full of seniors here, Claire, Eric, Cal, and Kevin under the coaching of Kelly Kaminsky at Estero High School. When we come back, we'll introduce you to the Golden Gate players and we'll have our 10-point round after this. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand 
that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. All right, welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. We're about ready to start our 10-point round. Let's introduce you to the Golden Gate High School players here uh, first. In the uh, position there is uh, Jeffrey Figueroa. Jeffrey's in spot number one. He's a senior and would like to head off to Stanford University and study computer engineering. Jeffrey, good luck to you in the future. M Mitchell is next. Mitchell Shields, a uh, junior on the team. Mitchell would like to head to the University of Florida, study chemical engineering. How about that? Good luck to you, Mitchell. In the back, we have brother and sister. Uh, we have David Galindo. David is a junior, and he is off to the University of Miami, hopefully, after high school to study biomedical engineering. And uh, this is Stephanie. Stephanie Galindo is a sophomore, and Stephanie's going off to Duke University and would like to study neurology. Stephanie, David, Mitchell, and Jeffrey under the coaching of George Agobian and Chris Estock at Golden Gate High School. All right, students, started off well. Let's see how we do now in the 10-point round. Hands on your buzzers. Here we go. For 10 points, when each state has listed its electoral votes for president and sent them to Washington, D.C., which legislator is authorized by law to open each state's list and count the electoral votes? Jeffrey, Golden Gate. Speaker of the House. Nope, not correct. Uh, Kevin. The president pro tempore. Nope, sorry, both incorrect. Uh, it's the President of the Senate or the Vice President of the United States. That's the answer I needed. All right, so clean slate there. Next question for 10. It can be expressed as stress is proportional to strain. Identify this law of physics. Jeffrey, Golden Gate. Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law, very good. It's the ratio of the force needed to pull a spring, et cetera. Hooke's Law, 10 points, Golden Gate. Cody, named for the Wild West entertainer Buffalo Bill, Jackson Hole, located near the Grand Tetons. Cal Estero. Wyoming. Yeah, I wanted you to name the state, and you got that very quickly. Good for you. Ten points, Estero. Next for ten is a math question. You may look at your screen and begin. Looks a little short here. Give the value of x such that the log base 5 of the quantity x minus 6 equals 3. We give the students calculators, pencil, paper, and a little bit of extra time to see if they can get the answer. Looking for the value of x. All right, again, not enough time there. The answer was 131, 131. All right, next question for 10. Many years after its main events, a laundress named Tanya is thought to be the daughter of its two main characters. Name this novel that won a Nobel Prize in literature for Russian author Boris Pasternak, but he was forced to decline it. Okay, Jeffrey, give me a shot. Anna Karenina. Good try, though. Um, nope, not correct. Is Daryl want to try? Somebody buzz in. Cal, is Daryl? The brothers Karamazov. All right, two good guesses there, but Dr. Shivago was what I was looking for. Dr. Shivago. Next question for 10. What common color is expressed by the French word ver? Jeffrey Golden Gate. Green. Green. Grün in German, verde in Spanish. And that's 10 points, Golden Gate. Next for 10. A Chinese company is now planning to build an interoceanic canal 175 miles long across this country. Eric Castero. Nicaragua. Yeah, Nicaragua. It's a really controversial project. Name that nation, and you got 10 points for that, Estero. Next for 10. It was suggested by Ben Franklin, who proposed that France would save candles if everyone got up at sunrise. Daylight, Kevin Estero. Daylight savings time? Yeah, daylight savings time. 10 points, Estero. Good job there. Next for 10. Give the last name beginning with I that was shared by the American lithographer James and the American composer, Charles. Uh, Eric Estero. Irving. Good try, Eric, not it. Golden Gate. Jeffrey. Ivan. Nope. Ives. 
Ives was what I needed there. Next question for 10 points. You can combine carbon and oxygen to create carbon dioxide. This is an example of what general type of reaction that creates a more complex molecule from two simpler molecules. Eric Estero. A chemical reaction? Nope, sorry, incorrect, Golden Gate. Mitchell. A synthesis reaction? That's it, synthesis reaction is good for 10 points, Golden Gate. Give the correct spelling of the plural of the word fungus. Kevin Estero. F-U-N-G-I. Fungi, that's correct, 10 points, Estero. He left college after saying on a chemistry exam that silicon is a gas. Name this 19th century American artist who is most famous today for his painting, The White Girl, but for his arrangement also in the arrangement in gray and black that shows his mother sitting in a chair. The only painting with a mother in a chair that's really any famous at all is Whistler's mother. So the outers was Whistler. All right, next question for 10. It was named the New Hebrides by Captain Cook, and it kept the name until 1980 when it became independent from France and England. Name this Pacific nation of more than 80 islands whose capital city, Port Villa, was hit hard by a cyclone in 2015. Mitchell, Golden Gate. French Polynesia? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Estero. Cal. Micronesia. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Uh, Vunuatu is the name that I needed to hear. Vunuatu is the name of the Pacific nation. Next question for 10. What British city's National Football Museum is near the famous Old Trafford Soccer Stadium? David, Golden Gate. Manchester? Yeah, that's where the team, the United team plays their home games. Manchester, 10 points. 10 points, Golden Gate. Charles Fraser's novel, Cold Mountain, and McKinley Cantor's novel, Andersonville, are both set during what major armed conflict? Cal, Estero. World War II. Nope, sorry. Good try, though. Golden Gate. Mid Jeffrey. The Civil War? The Civil War. It's the Civil War, 10 points, Golden Gate. All right, so that is the conclusion of our 10-point round. Golden Gate is at 80, Estero's at 55. This is definitely not a runaway game. Anything can happen in the 20-point round, and it usually does. So we'll be back with that coming up. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Welcome back. We are at our 20-point round now in the A-Team Challenge. Good game today. Estero High School on my right versus Golden Gate High School on my left. You can see it's not a runaway just yet. Golden Gate at 80, Estero right behind them at 55. So here we go. Students, each question is now worth 20 points, and the first one up is... A recent study finds high levels of the blood protein SNTF in the brains of some athletes shortly after they get hit in the head during competition. Jeffrey, Golden Gate. Concussions. Concussions. What type of brain injury uh, is marked with that protein? And that's good for 20 points, Golden Gate. Often considered a siege, even though Robert E. Lee's men could have left its namesake town at any time, the last of its offenses, offensives launched by Ulysses F. S. Grant came just a week before the Confederacy surrendered. David, Golden Gate. Vicksburg? Sorry, wrong one. Um, uh, Estero, here's the rest of the question. Identify this Union campaign in a town in southeastern Virginia that lasted for most of the final nine months of the Civil War. Uh, Kevin Estero. Arlington? No, nope, sorry, incorrect. Uh, Petersburg, Petersburg, Virginia. Yeah, you, you knew it, didn't you, David? All right, next question for 20. No, no points awarded there. Next for 20. She developed the idea for her most famous novel as part of a competition to write the best ghost story. Name this British author whose husband, Percy, was a famed poet in his own right. 
and whose most famous novel subtitle, The Modern Prometheus, describes Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Cal Estero. Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley is right, 20 points, Estero. After it became the first U.S. state to ban fracking everywhere within its borders, even for natural gas development, 15 of its southern tier towns began investigating how to join neighboring Pennsylvania. Name this state, now governed by Andrew Cuomo, whose capital is Albany. Mitchell, Golden Gate. New York. New York, correct, for 20 points, Golden Gate. Its website says that part of it traces its lineage to the Manhattan Project effort to develop the atomic bomb during World War II. Today, it tries to keep the country's power grid from disruption or breakdown. Name this cabinet department, whose secretary in 2015 is Dr. Ernest Monitz. Eric Estero. Department of Energy. Department of Energy is good. Estero, 20 points. What word, starting with P, is a type of chart that shows several generations. Kevin Estero. Pi graph? No, sorry, incorrect. Here's the rest of the question. Several generations of your ancestors on one piece of paper. Jeffrey, Golden Gate. Pedigree? Pedigree is correct. 20 points, Golden Gate. Next for 20. College students with this major may take classes like structural design, cities and suburbs. David, Golden Gate. Civil engineering? No, sorry, incorrect. Estero, uh, there's the rest of the question. It may even include studies in Gothic churches. Name this major, Kevin Estero. Architecture. Architecture is right. Teaches people how to design new buildings. 20 points, Estero. A molecule can be defined by this adjective if it has a partial positive charge on one side and a partial, Jeffrey, Golden Gate. Polar. Yeah, partial on the ne other, negative charge on the other side. It's a polar molecule. 20 points, Golden Gate. He killed thousand, a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. Eric Estero. Samson. Yep, you didn't need the rest of that question. You got it. Very good. Name the biblical character Samson. 20 points, Estero. This name, I'm sorry. This province's lakes include Lake Claire and Lake Louise. Name this Canadian province that contains the beginning of the Athabasca River within its Jasper National Park. And it's located between Saskatchewan and British Columbia. Kevin's in Estero. Alberta. Alberta is correct. 20 points, Estero. Next for 20. A mass is tied to a spring that is undergoing simple harmonic motion. The angular frequency of the motion is 2 pi divided by capital T, where T is what parameter? Mitchell, Golden Gate. Time. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Estero. Cal. Pressure. Nope. It's the period of motion, the period of the motion. Next question for 20, it's short and sweet, listen up. What U.S. state is known as the Palmetto State? Kevin Estero. Alabama. Nope, sorry, Golden Gate. Give it a shot, Jeffrey. Georgia. Nope, sorry, incorrect. South Carolina, South Carolina. Next for 20, its author wrote, deaths were by no means uncommon in the title location, but a birth was a new thing. Name this short story by Bret Hart, whose title character is a baby that survives childbirth in a mining town, even though the mother does not. Nope, sorry, Kevin, too late. Uh, the Luck of Roaring Camp was the name I needed to hear. His descendants include both a black and a white member of the current Virginia State Senate. Name this founding father, ineligible Kevin Estero. Thomas Jefferson. That's a good guess, uh, but not correct. Name the founding father ineligible to be president because of his birth in the British West Indies. He was America's first Treasury Secretary, and he's still on the $10 bill. Jeffrey Golden Gate. Hamilton. Hamilton, correct. Ten point, uh, 20 points there. All right. You can convert this unit to grads by multiplying by 200 over pi. One complete revolution of a circle... Kevin Estero. Radian. Yeah, there's a lot more to that uh, question. I wanted to identify the unit of angular measure. Radian Estero gets in right at the last there with one with 20 points. Look at that. Woohoo! That's great. Estero 175, Golden Gate 180. And uh, students, your final wagers should be based on what you think you can do in the final subject of science. Science is the final subject. We'll be back with a, what I bet you is an exciting conclusion of the 18 challenge. Don't go away. 
our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Welcome back to the exciting conclusion of this round of the A-Team Challenge. Great game today, two fine schools, Estero High School versus Golden Gate High School. Both teams doing really well, as you can see, a tight score going into the final exam. We have uh, some alternates I'd like to introduce you to on the Estero High School side. In the back, uh, right here in the center, is Morgan. Morgan Sachs is a senior. Uh, give us a wave, Morgan. I'm kind of in the shadow of that wave. There he is. <laughs> He's a senior this year, would like to go to the University of Florida or Central Florida and study computer science. Morgan, welcome to you. Right next to me here is Jasmine. Jasmine Hernandez Dubois is a junior and she wants to head to Portland State University and become a registered nurse someday. You, you have to wave too since I made Morgan wave. There you go. Thank you. And on the Golden Gate side, two uh, alternates here as well to introduce you to. Right next to me is Victoria. Victoria Padilla is a, is a junior. She wants to go to the University of Florida. And um, Carlos Reyes is in the back. Both of you have to wave. Uh, juniors there, University of Florida. Carlos would like to go there after high school. So uh, welcome to you guys. All right, here we go. The final exam question is in a subject of science, and it's one of my favorite questions of the entire A-team season here. Name these types of clouds from their international two-letter abbreviations, and note that some cloud types are combinations of other types. In any case, we needed to get the full name of the uh, abbreviation ST, C, I, and C, B, and here they are. I need to see these three answers, stratus, cirrus, and cumulonimbus. All right, very good. Let's see how we do. We're going to start with Estero High School. Estero High School's team came in at 175 points, and your answers are stratus, cirrus, and cumulonimbus. You got them all correct. You wagered. 165 points, that brings you up to 340. The next round goes to Golden Gate. Golden Gate answers Stratus, Cirrus, and Cumulonimbus. You get it all correct. Your wager, 177 points, that brings you to 357. A very close game. Give Golden Gate High School students a round of applause. They're moving on. Good job. All right. We're, st we're celebrating our academic excellence, but we're also pretty good sports, so I'd like to invite both teams of the 18 Challenge to get up, shake hands, and uh, show some good sportsmanship. Have a great day.